Hi everyone, hope you're good. Are you like trying to add the pitch band control in a context library? Stay tuned. That's a really flash how-to video, just to show you a very, I mean, stupid thing. Just in case you're wondering how on earth could I add a common pitch band control inside the sample library in contact, which is not provided by itself. Plus, why? I mean, why certain libraries don't have this pitch band control by default? You're probably facing this issue, which is not an issue by the way, with many, many orchestral libraries, those by Spitfire Audio, for instance, but some others too as well. I mean, the reason is quite comprehensible, I guess. Orchestral sounds, acoustic instruments, which should sound as most realistic as possible should not need any pitch band parameter because I mean they don't pitch band in real life you get it but you're likely to deal with this problem not only with orchestral libraries for the sake of this example I'm gonna choose um, the CDT contemporary drama toolkit by Spitfire audio which is definitely I mean um, it's not an orchestral library, uh, it's more a sort of sound design-ish thing. But anyway, it has not pitch band control by default. As you can probably hear, or not hear actually, while I'm moving the pitch band joystick control on my keyboard, nothing happens. No pitch band at all. So cut a long story short, if this is the case, you should then click on this little range icon here to access uh, to the, let's call it the inner part of any um, contact based sample library. Make sure the edit all groups tab is active, it turns red. Oh, by the way, you'll need just this group editor panel. If you see some other tabs here, like mapping, editor or wave editor or a script editor you can definitely close them otherwise it'll be very messy at least if you're not used to that you move them to the source modulation section down here you click it and you want to land on add modulator external sources pitch band and boom job is done Then you can obviously um, adjust your pitch band range by moving this slider up or down uh, by semitones. That easy, isn't it? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Click that bell and have a nice pitch bending. I'll catch you next time. Take care.